Hello everyone. In the last session, we discussed about the construction of DC machines. In that, we have we already gone with some details of the magnetic frame or yoke. So here, in this magnetic frame or yoke, the main intention of the magnetic frame is to provide path for the flux and return path for the flux. Flux is comes from the north pole and it will enter into the south pole. These two poles are available in the field and this flux will be a travel a return path again to the north pole. So this is the main intention. Okay. Here we should discuss some functions regarding the magnetic yoke. First gives the mechanical support to the field poles. Just look at here. These are the field poles. This is the north pole and this is the south pole. And this circle magnetic yoke will give mechanical support. So without having the this magnetic yoke, it has low mechanical strength. Provide a return path for magnetic flux. So we already discussed this point. So look at here. It flux is entered from the north pole to south pole and the flux return path is like this next acts as protecting cover for entire machine look at here actually it is a stator rotor is inside of the stator so this magnetic frame is used as a, a protecting cover because it will protect from the atmosphere conditions like rain and temperature. So it is worked as a always works as a protecting cover also. Number of magnetic parallel paths having number of poles. So if we having the number of parallel paths having number of poles. The each portion of yoke provide return path for the 50% of the flux pull for. So generally this is the important thing that is we have the magnetic parallel path magnetic parallel paths so that magnetic parallel paths are like this those are just look at here we have two poles that's why that's why we have this is the one magnetic path and this is the one magnetic path right same thing that's why the number of parallel paths have number of poles each portion yoke provides return path of 50% of flux per pole. That means, look at here, the simple thing. Here, some flux phi will be come here and from the each portion, this part will be phi by 2 flux. And this will be the phi by 2 flux. Okay. So, half of the portion will be flows. So, that is the meaning of this statement. So these are the, this is about the magnetic frame and these are the functions of the magnetic frame. Next, next is pole core or pole shoe. So this pole core or pole shoe, we should discuss this. So this pole core or pole shoe is nothing but just observe here. So this is the, the this part, we are discussing about the this part. So just look at here, this pole core or pole shoe made with cast steel or silicon steel. So this part is called, generally this part is called pole core. This complete part is called pole core. This part is called pole shoe. Just observe here, it look like a shoe. That's why pole shoe. And it is a pole core because it have windings it have windings so by using this the name will become the pole core and pole shoe so these are useful to maintain the pores and useful for getting the pores so here it is made with the cast steel or the silicon steel both are the same things number of no laminations are required for the pole core generally Laminations are provided on the core, generally any core, 
when we are discussing the transformers when we are discussing the induction motors we are providing the laminations there but here there is no requirement of the lamination what is the main reason for laminations laminations are to reduce eddy currents in order to reduce eddy currents to reduce the eddy currents we are providing the laminations but there is no requirement the reason is no laminations are required for the full core but shoes are laminated here we have the shoes is there these are laminated so it is laminated it is laminated but this is the no lamination there is no lamination that is important thing so this is one of the important point and that is pole core doesn't have any laminations but pole shoe must and should be the laminated because pole shoe having more magnetic flux that's why it has more eddy current generated but here the pole core doesn't have that amount of laminations right next variable reluctance due to the armature slots and the ma magnetic flux having magnetic flux having fluctuations so generally the for example if we take the two pole machine so it is a two pole machine generally and we have the armature is like this we have the armature is like this and variable reluctance due to the arm armature still we have some armature slots that means we have some angle so some slots variable reluctance some slots have the variable reluctance so that's why it has the reluctance is varies generally reluctance variable and therefore automatically flux will be variable how always the reluctance is inversely proportional to the flux inversely proportional to the flux so that's why the variation of reluctance effect on the flux so that's why it has some fluctuations thereby an emf induced in the pole that's why any pole the emf here the more reluctance it is the less reluctance then automatically flux will be changed whenever the flux will be changed then automatically then emf is induces okay so which drives the eddy currents so that's the thing only so here the simple ring we have more reluctance here we have the less reluctance here then automatically wherever the more reluctance we have low flux phi 2 wherever the high reluctance we have high flux phi 1 then automatically we will get phi 1 minus phi 2 whenever the flux difference is there then automatically it will give d phi by dt whenever the d phi by dt is there then automatically emf is induces so that's why this is the function of the eddy currents next next function of pole core so what is the work of the pole core here accommodate the field winding behaves as magnet I look at here so just observe here this is the field winding so for example field winding direction is like this then the flux is flows like this it will act as some pole it will act as some pole that means maybe in, if, it, if it is in direction it is in south pole so if it is reverse direction for example it will become the north pole so in order to getting the poles we require winding the pole core will pole core will be useful for holding this winding so here the thing is only accommodates the field winding here and whenever the field winding is accommodated then automatically it behaves as the magnet when winding is excited so when the winding when we give the supply we are giving some supply that means giving the excitation then the pole will be generated here next function of the pole shoe so we discussed about the pole core next the pole shoe pole shoe means we all i already told that that is this part is the pole shoe first give mechanical support to the field winding same thing so it give the mechanical support to the field winding just look at here 
so this is the core this is the thing if you hold it then it will for the holding that pole shoe will support this wind armature winding next reduce the magnetic reluctance due to the analog area of cross section so just look at here it has the more area then automatically whenever the more area is there magnetic flux reluctance will be decreases so here the reluctance is inversely proportional to the cross sectional area if the cross sectional area is increases automatic reluctance will be decreases when the reluctance is decreases then flux will be increases when the flux will be increases automatically emf will be more generated okay that is the thing only so the more average value of the flux and more generated emf next it provides return path for the magnetic flux just look at here so this is also the same thing return path means so same as that thing so here just the flux will be generated here for example in north pole and the flux will be connected the flux will be connected south pole so it provides return path for the magnetic flux okay so this is about the construction of the pole core as well as the pole shoe and it will give the functions of the pole core and the pole shoe i hope all of you understand the session thank you